Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome, folks, to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we're taking a look into the life of Lucretia Mart, a figure we should all know, but might not. And why should we know her, Chuck? Well, Marco, she was an American Quaker minister, abolitionist, social reformer, and a proponent of women's rights. Basically, she was super busy making the world a better place. So, she's the kind of person who makes the rest of us feel like underachievers, huh? I guess so. But let's start at the beginning. Born on January 3, 1793, in Nantucket, Massachusetts, Lucretia Mart came from a family of Quakers. And as we know, Quakers, or Friends, held a deep commitment to equality and social justice. The apple didn't fall far from the tree then. By the way Marco, did you know Quakers were also known for being silent during their meetings? Really? Yes, so if you ever find yourself in a Quaker meeting, it's not that your Zoom's on mute. Lucretia was well educated for her time, which is quite remarkable. But she didn't just stop at academics. That's right. Beyond her roles as an abolitionist and reformer, she was also known for her eloquence and powerful speaking abilities. Which brings us to her life as a minister. Becoming a minister wasn't common for women back then. Yet, Lucretia was recognized as a minister within the Society of Friends in 1821. It speaks volumes about her character and capability. As a minister, she advocated for moral rectitude and spoke against the perils of slavery. So, she was a preacher and a teacher. Sounds like she wore many hats, or bonnets in her case. How did she get involved with this movement Chuck? Good question. Her involvement began when she and her husband James Mott attended the World Anti-Slavery Convention in London in 1840. There, she met Elizabeth Cady Stanton. And this partnership led to another big moment in history right? Absolutely. They became co-founders of the women's rights movement. Their friendship led to the famed Seneca Falls Convention in 1848, the first women's rights convention. At the convention, Mott's eloquence and wisdom were evident. She played a significant role in sculpting the Declaration of Sentiments, which addressed key issues of women's rights. Let's just say, without her, the women's rights movement would look quite different. Lucretia wasn't done there. With others, she helped establish Swarthmore College in 1864, which is still going strong today. A coeducational institution by the way, which, given the times, was a big deal. You could say she was ahead of her class, in setting up classes. All right folks, quick break to thank our sponsor. Wave goodbye to sugar-loaded boosts and say hello to Strike Force Energy. The energy drink additive revolutionizing how you power up, all without a single calorie or sugar. Just a squeeze, and you're set for action. Ready to make the switch? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com. And for our listeners, spark your savings with an exclusive 20% discount. Just use code UTSALAX24 at checkout. Remember, UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, elevate every sip. And now, back to Lucretia Mott. She passed away in 1880 but her legacy didn't. That's true. Mott's advocacy for equal rights, regardless of race or gender, has left a lasting imprint on American history. Beyond her obvious accomplishments, she symbolized a voice of moral authority, and her work has continued to inspire generations. So folks, that was a quick tour of Lucretia Mott's incredible life. Any final thoughts Marco? Just that it's figures like Mott that remind us how individuals can reshape the fabric of society. Oh, and Chuck? Yeah? Remind me never to challenge you in a history quiz. You're on. Thanks, everyone, for tuning into the History AI podcast. If you liked what you heard, please like, rate, and share this episode. Until next time, keep digging into history.